Hi, it's Sonny with Area K Photos. Today we're going to cover basic white balance correction for an ocean image with a lot of fish. Uh, the big problem we have with the ocean is the lack of red that our camera captures in the water. So it's a lot different in our image that we capture versus what we actually physically see. So our main goal is to get this image looking very similar to uh, what we actually saw in the ocean. Uh, the main thing I'm going to do on this guy, as I start with most of my images, uh, if I'm shooting a fisheye lens, I'll go ahead and enable the profile corrections on here. What this does is just eliminates the fisheye look to it, and I'm going to adjust this so the fish at the edges aren't all stretched out. And we have a good solid image to start. I always check chromatic, remove chromatic aberration, just gets, little, gets rid of a uh, little edging, fringing, which sometimes happens on your photos at certain apertures. So here we go, we have our basic image and we're gonna go ahead and go to our white balance sliders to start. So this is all gonna be from basically your perspective. It may look different to you than it does to me. So this is all trying to get it to look the way you want it personally. All right, so we have our basic white balance uh, sliders right here. We know there's a loss of red, so what we're gonna do is pull this guy over towards the magenta. And you could already see just with the one slider, it already helps a lot. You could actually now see the yellow stripe on the fish versus before. You can kind of see it, but it looks a little more greenish. And next one we're going to work with is the temperature versus the tint. We're going to warm this up a little bit until it looks the way we like it. And to me that looks pretty solid on here. And now we can go ahead and play with our other tools. Uh, I'll go through, start from top to bottom here, exposure. I can maybe brighten it up just a little bit because I know I'm going to make some adjustments to darken it. And we're going to add a little contrast to it. And we're going to go ahead and pull in our highlights so we don't have any spots that are real blown out. Now highlights, uh, you can do as much as you want really. It's not damaging it too much. It's just filling in the white spots so they're not too white. And then we'll play with our shadows on here. Actually, all the shadows look pretty solid on here. Uh, whites, we might brighten it up just a little bit. And what I can do while I'm doing this, also, I can hit the Option key on my keyboard as you're sliding it. And you can see, once you see those, you're gone a little too far. So you want to make it so those are all gone, but just right before. Again, that's the Option key on my Mac while I'm holding down this slider, adjustment slider. And now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of black to it. Now, same thing on the blacks. As you're adjusting, you can see we don't want those guys to show up on there. And you could also give it a general look with your eye. I'm going to go ahead and put this to about negative 47. It looks, looks pretty good on there. And then I can go ahead and sharpen up the image a little bit with the clarity. There we go. And I might add a little bit of vibrance to it. That looks about right. So here we go. That was just a basic uh, white balance adjustment on it. You can make uh, more fine-tuned adjustments, like the exposure at the top looks a little hot. So I can use this tool right here. Pull it down a little bit, maybe add a little more highlights to it. Really personal preference on it. But I think that looks pretty solid. Now what we can do that the image is actually done, click on this option right here, and it gives you a before and after. So you can definitely see a, a drastic difference between the starting image and the finished image. And there's a couple different modes. If you click on that same little Y there again, 
can compare them side by side and you can kind of pull them back and forth and zoom if you want to. And clicking right here will bring it back. All right, so yeah, this is our final image. Uh, if you want to see it full screen, you can go ahead and hit the F key and that'll blow it up. Uh, basically a huge difference just using Lightroom. You can definitely use Photoshop or any other program you want. Uh, this is just a quick and simple, easy method of doing the color correction. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like the video, hit like, or if you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and uh, click on subscribe. Once again, I'm Sunny with Area Cave Photos. Thanks for watching.